Jared Bowl back on the ice for the Ducks for the first time since November the 7th. And here we go. The fifth fight in three meetings between these two teams as he's going to get together with Curtis McDermott. Bowl's last game was against the Kings. He's been in San Diego since recovering from a knee injury, and he and McDermott stop one another at center. McDermott with short laps as they each get a hold of one another's sweater. Trying to load up the big roundhouse. Right is Bowl. It's McDermott with a reach advantage, and he lands the first right. Bowl measures, fires. Now it's roundhouse rights for both of them. Oh boy, they're throwing bombs. There's no messing around here. An uppercut from Bowl. McDermott comes over the top a couple of times. Bull continues to try to keep his distance. McDermott, the penalty minute leader for the Kings this season. And now it's a short left by Bull that lands on him. And the linesmen are measuring this just as much. Uh, right over the top for McDermott. Do you blame him? I wouldn't get in there. <laughs> and now Lonnie Cameron dives in first. And it'll be a well-earned five for each of these two combatants. Rehabbing the knee, going to San Diego. Going to the minors for the first time in his NHL career. And now Bieksa and Andrioff, who fought last time these teams played here on the 25th of November, will go at it again. It was a one-punch win for Bieksa that time. He goes with the left this time. Andrioff stays on his feet, and this will last longer. Right from Bieksa as Andrioff gets in close. For Bieksa, his fifth tilt of the year, and Andrioff it's a right hand up and cut in. Now left hands from Bieksa. Knocks the helmet off of Andrea. And he slings Bieksa to the ice. And see Andrea at the end of that taps Kevin Bieksa and thanks him for the fight. Exchanged after the fight. And here we go again. Nick Ritchie and Kyle Clifford right off the face off. And it's short left from Ritchie as he has a hold of Clifford's sweater around the neck. Now a right hand from Richie. Clifford has only played in 11 games all year and only has four penalty minutes, but he's no stranger to fisticuffs. Richie lands a right and a couple more as Clifford goes to the ice and he takes exception. This will be a long game. Well, after the ceremony, we had a late puck drop. I'm not sure the first period will end any time before 9 o'clock. Well, again, the, the challenge is issued before the puck is dropped. Players have to wait until the linesman drops the puck. Otherwise, they're out of the game. And Nick Ritchie, after Clifford loses his balance as he was going down, Ritchie able to land another one.